stop. Thank you. <laughs> guys welcome back to Clearview Driving my name is Amon and today's mock test is with Ashley how are you feeling this morning Ashley oh, okay yes yeah, so your test is coming up very soon yeah and you've never done a mock test before no now how many hours of driving lessons would you say you've done probably more than 30 more than 30 okay now have you also been driving with family or just with on lessons with your instructor sometimes with my co-workers okay yeah. well that's good because then you get a bit of practice with both yeah now, I'm going to get you to follow the sat-nav when we start off from here. So do you know how the mock test is going to be conducted? Do you want me to tell you a little bit about how it's going to go? Just tell me. Okay, so throughout the drive, I want you to follow the road ahead. Whenever I need you to turn, I will tell you. If I don't say anything, keep going straight. But I'm going to get you to follow the sat-nav for the first sort of 15, 20 minutes or so. And then I'll give you normal instructions thereafter. We're going to carry out one manoeuvre. And we may also carry out the emergency stop, similar to everything you've been practicing with your instructor. Okay. Okay. All right. So, before we get started, I'm going to ask you a question about your vehicle. Okay. Okay. Could you tell me how would you check that your head and tail lights are working? You um, well turn the ignition on. Okay. And press the buttons okay. for them. Then go outside and check all around. That's fine. All right, brilliant. So for anyone that's new to watching the channel, don't forget to like the video, comment down below and subscribe if you're new. And thank you for everyone that has subscribed. Um, yeah. <laughs> brilliant, you ready to get started? Yeah. Okay, so when you're ready, actually I'd like you to start the engine. Is it turn? Yeah. Just like normal. There you go. How do I adjust them? Yeah, from there. Oh, we're on a... It's on a slant, so yeah. you might just need to go in and out slightly, that's it. Okay. Yeah. yeah? Okay. So whenever you're ready, let's get driving. <coughs> do I turn around? I know, it's, we're going to go down this road, it will um, correct itself. It okay. thinks we're facing the other way. The handbrake is here? Yeah. Yep. Alright, so following the sat nav, it's uh, following the turn right, facing the correct direction now. Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. Hi guys, welcome back to another mock test. So today's mock test is with Ashley. Now if you guys enjoy watching these mock tests, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you're new. Now Ashley is a really confident driver. She positions really early when it comes to meeting and clearance. So she's always got a good safety bubble around her vehicle. And she's always checking her mirrors as she's moving her position from the center, either towards the left or right. Always be aware of your surroundings. After 200 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit.
go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. If you could pull in and park up on the left, somewhere safe. Okay. Not too close. Thank you. Drive up whenever you're ready. Whilst waiting in this position, Ashley is checking her interior mirror, her exterior right mirror and her right blind spot. As the road was fairly busy, she turned off her right signal. Now this silver car waiting in this junction on the right is currently in our right blind spot. So this is where your blind spot check is now vital before you move off. If you do not turn around and check over your shoulder, there could be something in this position that's moving into the road at the same time as you. So always check towards the road and over your shoulder before you move off. If you could pull in and park up on the left anywhere safe. And drive it when you're ready. Ashley is always trying to drive in the highest gear possible, which is great for fuel efficiency. So we're currently in third gear where the revs are around 1.2 RPM. If you drive in second gear at the exact same speed, the revs are around 2 RPM. So there's a massive difference in fuel consumption. So always try and use a higher gear when possible. So use a lower gear when you want more control and use a higher gear for fuel efficiency. So if this was a busy road with lots of parked vehicles, it would be better to stay in second gear for control purposes. right on the roundabout and take the second exit. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. After 200 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, B361. Approaching the next roundabout to make a left turn, there's a family on the left-hand side that wants to cross the road, but Ashley does continue through. This doesn't go down as a fault as they were waiting, but it's really easy to give way as we were slow enough and this was a crossing.
On approach to this next roundabout, Ashley anticipates the bicycle on the pavement really well. As she's approaching, there is a child cycling on the right-hand side of the road, so she starts to slow down as there is a zebra crossing ahead. Now, he does ride into the road, so you always want to watch out for things like this whenever there is a zebra crossing about, as this is where pedestrians have priority. The vehicle in front of us puts on a right signal to make a right turn, and Ashley does not realise this so her reaction to brake is quite late. The collision warning is activated as we're not braking when we should be. When moving off on this uphill gradient, Ashley was not using the accelerator, which is why the car was struggling to move off on this hill. So always when moving off on a gradient, try and use more acceleration than normal, about 2 RPM on the rev count and hold the clutch steady. You can also make use of the handbrake to make sure you don't roll back. Turn right. When making the right turn, you can position over this hatched area in the middle as this is the filter section and this way the traffic behind you can continue as normal. As we were there quite briefly, this is not exactly a fault and the space was not wide enough for the width of our vehicle. If you can pull in and park up on the right hand side of the road, don't worry about the driveways on this occasion. What I'd like you to do now is to reverse back for about two car lengths, keeping a reasonable distance from the pavement and try not to touch the curb as you carry out this exercise. So reverse back about two car lengths from here. Okay. Okay. <coughs> it's a lift. It's a lift up, left down. Ashley starts off this reversing exercise really nicely by looking over her shoulders and reversing back in a straight line and stopping whenever there's any pedestrians close by or traffic in the road. As the pavement was fairly busy with pedestrians, we did have to keep waiting. Now, as we start to reverse from this position, Ashley starts to steer sharply towards the left, mounting the front tyre onto the pavement. As we're already quite close to the pavement, you want to steer the wheel very lightly, left or right, depending on which direction you need to move. So many people walking. <laughs> I don't know, why are they 
walking so early. I feel like I'm diagonal. At this point we could feel the front tyre was starting to climb up and had Ashley stopped at this point and gone forward to readjust that would have been okay but she continues reversing until the front tyre is on the pavement and that's what gives her a serious fault with this manoeuvre. Oh. Can I move forward? <laughs> <laughs> Just drive off, it's fine. Oh, should I drive off? Yeah, it's okay. They told me that's the easiest <laughs> maneuver and I can't do it. <laughs> I'd rather parallel park. <laughs> and you made me do it. <laughs> So we're still following the site now, okay? Okay. At the end of the road, turn right, B358, then turn right. Turn right, then turn right. After 200 yards, turn right. Coming out of this junction to make this right turn, Ashley gets a minor fault with her control on the steering wheel. As we came out of this junction, she did steer too sharply, but once in the new road, she went too close to the island in the middle as she was letting the steering wheel slide between her hands. Steering like this is not a fault as long as you do not lose control. Ahead of us there is a vehicle on the opposite side of the road who is trying to park on the left hand side of this road. Now Ashley doesn't realise that they're indicating to park but thinks that they're turning into a side road and she ends up getting fairly close to them so gets a minor fault with her awareness and planning. As the vehicle was on the left hand side of the road and coming towards us, Ashley needed to brake some more to take control of the situation quickly. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. When driving in busy town centres, watch out for things like this. So we have a zebra crossing and then a roundabout. Now Ashley's keeping the zebra crossing clear and looking forward at the roundabout at the vehicle ahead. Now before moving off from this position, always scan both sides of the crossing and look behind the windscreen pillars as they can easily hide pedestrians and Ashley does this really well. As we're waiting to make this left turn at this roundabout, Ashley's mainly looking ahead and over towards the right, but it's also a good idea to look towards the left in the direction you're heading into. This way you'd notice what's happening on the zebra crossing in the new road and in case the traffic starts to pile up right in front of you. In your driving test, at the end of your independent drive, the sat-nav will say you have reached your destination. 
At that point, keep following the road ahead and the examiner will give you directions whenever they need you to turn. You have reached your destination. Turn right at this roundabout. I'm going to give you instructions and uh, instructions as all from now on, okay? to do so I'd like you to demonstrate how you test the horn is working. The horn? Yes. Thank you. When we get to the roundabout I'd like you to turn right, it's the second exit. Park up on the left, just in that space. Don't worry about the driveways, just in this space here. Which one? It's just in here. Here? That'll be fine. But leave enough space to move away. Okay. <laughs> Should I reverse a bit? So shortly, I'm going to get you to carry out the emergency stop. Okay. So as you're driving down this road, I'm going to make sure it's nice and safe, and I'm going to look around and give you this signal. Stop. When you get that signal, I'd like you to stop the car as quickly and as safely as possible, but wait for my signal before you carry out the stop because I will make sure it's safe. Okay, drive off when you're ready. I have to reverse a bit. <laughs> still carrying out the emergency stop. I'll make sure the road is clear before I give you that signal. I'm not going to do it here because there's a few people about. So we're still doing the emergency stop, yeah? Stop! Stop! Thank you. <laughs> Drive off when you're ready. I'm not going to get you to do that again, okay? That was a good one. <laughs> it's my first time doing it as you well. You were more surprised than I was. <laughs> I was looking forward to that, actually. <laughs> Right now I'm going to get you to park up on the left shortly, don't rush to park in, but there's a very big space coming up on the left hand side. So if you park up on the left, just past this post. Not too close. Thank you. I'll be right there, secure the car. Put the handbrake on please, it's not on. Oh push, yeah. And switch off the engine. All right, that's the end of your driving test. <laughs> How's your uh, drive? I think it was okay, except for the maneuver. Okay, what happened in the maneuver? I went over the curb. <laughs> so unfortunately, it wouldn't be a pass. Because of that. Because of that. Oh, but it was okay. The rest was really nice. You drive really well. Really? Yeah. <laughs>
I hit it. <laughs> I said, yeah, park up on the right. And I thought, why are you parking so close? As soon as you know you're parking on the right, you know yeah. you're going to get that maneuver. Yeah. Right? Okay. So the best thing to do is park up, but leave, give yourself some breathing space. Okay. So just in case if like what I did, I was so coming you, close. You know, you parked nicely, yeah. but then as you were reversing, you kept turning the wheel. Towards like here? Yeah. Was the, was it a fairly straight road, right? Yeah. Just keep that straight. I am. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Because look, you were kind of tweaking it a little bit here and there. You were looking around, stopping for all the pedestrians, which is all great. Mm -hmm. Tweaking it slightly here and there, which is fine. And then I could see you kind of started turning it. And I thought, why are you turning the wheel? <laughs> and then you kind of waited for the pedestrians and then you moved back. And I could feel the front climbing. And I thought, come on, just yeah. stop there. But then you kind of continued until the front was fully on. And that was it. Yeah, I know. I was like, I can feel it. But I was like, maybe it's not. So I just continued. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, that manoeuvre is definitely the easiest. All you have to do is keep the wheel straight, look around and reverse straight. <laughs> <laughs> ah. But and if okay. you feel like you want to turn the wheel, tweak kind of... Just a bit. Like, tiny bit, yeah, yeah. A wiggle here and there. Because I felt like I was like slanted. By the I put end it you in... were because you turned it. Yeah, because I turned it. <laughs> but you should have turned it the other way to go back in yeah you turned left to go further uh, i'm weird <laughs> <laughs> besides that um the first sort of minor mistake came in when we went to that high street you know where the sensors went off on the front bumper yeah do you know why they went off am i too close yeah the guy in front was stationary you could see he wasn't moving mm -hmm. you were still kind of accelerating up to him oh, okay and because your brake came in late the car thinks you're not going to brake so it's kind of alerting oh, you okay. that you needed to so yeah it was just because you were braking late for that situation Okay. Um, uphill gradients. How do you feel about uphill gradients? Oh, I hated that bit. <clears throat> that Whitson bit. I knew. Ugh. Yeah. But it was, I guess I'm not used to the car. Yeah. So it Plus stalled. What I kind of noticed what you do is you hold brake and clutch, you lift the clutch up mm -hmm. and then you come off the brake. Yeah. Slowly. Yeah. But then by that point, the car was like, oh, that's yeah, not enough. It would stall, yeah. So you can either make use of the handbrake. Do you use the handbrake in your own car? No. You can either make use of the handbrake or do what you're doing, but um, as soon as you're coming off the brake, you've got to accelerate. That's okay. really why the car switched off the first time, because it's just... Yeah. There's it no needs a bit of gas. Mm, more, yeah. than, more than normal. So w normally, how much would you accelerate when moving off? Like on a normal road? Yeah. None, because I just <laughs> flip the clutch to the biting point. Well, normally you should accelerate 1.5. Oh, okay. Okay. Because this is a diesel car, fairly new car, it auto revs anyways, but don't rely on that for uphill gradients. Mm -hmm. um, for uphill. So you needed to accelerate more than 1.5, so closer to 2. Okay. Yeah. Overall, good luck with your test. Reversing in a straight line, <laughs> keep the wheel straight. Um, emergency stop was really nice. You said that was your first time doing the emergency stop? Yeah. Yeah, no, that was really good. No but I, I felt like you were more surprised with that. I was like, oh! <laughs> you went a lot further than I did. Oh, no. Did I? <laughs> yeah. Oh. But no, really well done. Um, yeah. I really don't have any concerns for you going forward for your test. Oh, thank you. Just keep that straight and you'll be fine. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Alright, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's mock test video and learnt a few things for yourselves. Um, good luck with your test because that's you. coming up very, very soon. And let us know how it goes. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.